now let's see how we can display the list type here on the screen you can use the type function to find out which class the list belongs to the type function is used to find out which data type you are using exactly as follows the list constructor there is another way to create a list in python programming language this method is by using the list function from the python standard library it is possible to use this constructor or this list constructor when creating a new list just as we will do Okay, list items are indexed and you can access them by referring to the index number and counting inside the list as you know starts from the number 0. The first item has index 0, the second item has index 1 and so on. The first item in the fruits list that has index 0 is banana and the second item that has index 1 is cherry. And if you want to access lemon or the third item of my fruits list, try to use fruits list and put 2 inside square brackets and you will get lemon. Also, you can access items using negative numbers or negative indexing. Negative indexing means start from the end. Minus 1 refers to the last item. Minus 2 refers to the second last item. The last item that has index minus 1 is lemon from the fruits list. And the second last item that has index minus 2 is cherry in this case also. Also, you can specify a range of indexes by specifying where to start and where to end the range. When specifying a range, the return value will be a new list with the specified items. For instance, in this case here, the search will start at index 0 and it is included and end at index 2 and it is not included 2 it is not included here so we got banana and cherry only by leaving out the start value the range will start at the first item here in this case if you try to remove the number 0 before the colon you will get all the items from the beginning of the fruits list until reaching the index 2 and 2 it is not included also. Also by leaving out the end value, the range will go on to the end of the list. As you can see here, we have printed all the elements starting from the second element that has index 1. 